What is going on guys? Today we're looking at 91 Tevez, 4.35 million this card is. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this dynamic is from a Man U image. Let me know down below because as we know already, he is part of the Man City team, which most definitely is going to get at least the first one done. So I can guarantee that we will see a Tevez go up at least one. Whether we see him get the two, I feel like City probably have the best shot. He has got power shot plus and technical alongside chip shot, finesse shot, power header, trickster, press proven, quick step, and also relentless. In terms of stats, it's Tevez. It is, it is a phenomenal card. And I'm not going to lie, I called it. I absolutely called it. I knew as soon as we got an SBC, they was going to give us a 91 or at least an upgrade on Tevez in this fantasy foot. It's just plain as day to see and I absolutely hate them for it. They could have easily replaced him with Di Natale. We already have a company for Man City. We already have a Jack Grealish for Man City as well. Why on earth did they give us Tevez after already giving us an SBC that was like 900k? It's it, it was just obvious to see with them, and unfortunately, that is the way that they kind of get you. Because I guarantee everybody that finished that SBC has a better chance of getting the 91, because it's just the way it works. In terms of chemistry style, people are obviously going to go for the Hunter. Naturally, that would be the best one. 98 pace, 98 shooting. That's going to be an absolutely crazy card. So let's jump into Tevez and see... What this man can do. Are you looking for gift cards, game keys, and more? Head over to U7 Buy for a variety of cards you can get today. From PSN, Steam, all the way to Xbox. With huge amounts of price variations, check the link in the description for cheap, reliable digital cards for you right now. Now, if I remember, Tevez is just a brilliant card that we knew that we could get in this team. Can we go around him? Oh, come on. There's no way that we couldn't have got that. But I do think Tevez is, again, one of them cards that will upset the kind of balance of, of kind of what we normally like. I don't feel like he's going to be anywhere near the R9 level. Like, that's quite too much, I think. Uh, I do think when, when it comes to Tevez, he's definitely in the top category. Like, he could be up there with... I don't even know if Cruyff, to be honest. I think that the Cruyff's balance is just, is just so much better at this point. But kind of in, like, the... Almost Dalglish Eto category, where they are absolutely top level. But whether you, I thought I had the ball, <laughs> but I don't know if I'd ever put them as like the best striker in the game. Whereas you could argue with Cruyff, Arnine, Ham by the looks of it, how she's going. Whereas when it comes to Tevez, he's going to be, oh, that's beautiful. That is a lovely fake shot. He's going to be in the arguments how like a cover star Rooney is, how a Eto is, a, a maybe even like a, a 90 something Drogba could be up there as well. Looking for that through ball. There it is. He was on. Surely he was on. I would take the throw in anyway, but power shot's going to be the big one. That is... Have we got any free kicks with him? No, I thought... I mean, you could definitely get that. I wonder, could we get the outside? Does his other card have the bandana as well? That, that's pretty sick. And again, looking for the one, two. Oh, is he, oh no. That was not where I wanted. Teo was absolutely on board there. Going to find him again. Little one into him. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, lovely. Little bit of footwork. Good save from Areola. Is that Areola? He hasn't got a special card, has he? Oh, he's got the technical as well, hasn't he? Alongside a power shot. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to get 35 yards. Thought I'd give it a go, you know. I think in terms of the card, he's, he's always going to be one of the better ones as well. Just very, very expensive. And I think that always will come down to at least City having probably one of the best chances. I don't know fully everybody's game. So whether there's a statistical average that somebody's got like the lowest teams on the, the league. But most definitely Man City... They could be anybody in this list as we find him. Oh! <laughs> Ariola with unbelievable goalkeeping there. He makes that decent-ish save and then that is just atrocious. I was going to say, I was kind of hoping I took the touch then, but never mind. Lovely. Oh, there we go. Little f oh, it's a good tackle. I was kind of hoping for the power shot if I can. Into Teo. 
looking back for him. He's very jump. He, lo he loves to jump in on the tackles. How on earth has that stayed in? I think the biggest problem you've got with any sort of striker now is is not the fact of how good they are. That is a phenomenal ball. Get the chip. Get the chip. Ah, is It's not the fact that necessarily they are better than the rest. It's how expensive they are. Like We're looking at a 4.3 million striker. I'd love to compare him to everybody else. And especially if you've done yourself an Mbappe or Eusebio, there's not really a need for him, to be honest. Like, yes, he's a very, very good striker, but there isn't a need to go out and spend the coins, and that's the biggest problem. Great through ball. And otherwise, what you're kind of waiting on is, is a pass from Bernardo Silva that would be nice, but you're waiting on him to get him from a pack, to get him from an upgrade. And let's face it, I, I don't know how many times people pack a 4 million card a week, but it's definitely not a lot. Like, I could probably count on one hand this year how many million coin cards are probably packed. And granted, half of them, that's a good tackle. Half of them are probably from an icon upgrade, no, nonetheless. There it is. Power shot. We, we, we will try and do better. Oh, loves the flip flap. He's just got a very nice agility on him. He just manages to get through everybody. Oh, and that is when you've got somebody defending like... I don't even know. Somebody that can't defend. I think the technical ability is the one thing I literally always forget a card has because I, I just never really use it. Like, te technical for me, it, I just don't really like it that much, to be honest with you. It, it doesn't do what I want. That's a great little ball. He's gone on the outside. Why on earth would you not take the inside there? I mean, he got the ball. That's fair enough. But I wouldn't... If I went inside, I'd have been straight on goal. You would always defend that inside. Oh, I knew he was going to go for that. Uh, and then I give the ball away. <laughs> oh, Tevez, stop it. Keeper was out of nowhere. Managing to get... He's just going to be a goal scorer, isn't he? It's, it's easy with him. It's, it's very good agility. Left sticks there. Paces there. He's just the whole package. He's kind of similar. Very similar. But he's how I expect Rooney to be to some extent. Like, because he's... What is he? 5'7"? I don't know how tall Rooney actually is. But go on. Oh, what? He definitely needs the acrobatic plus there. But he reminds me of what I think Rooney should be. Decent on the dribble. Maybe, yes, I don't expect the five-star skills from Rooney. But in a FIFA sense, it would be nice to have it. Because, obviously, it gives him that bit more mobility going forward. Especially with the extra agility balance. That is going to be nice. But that is how I expect a decent Rooney card to be. And, and unfortunately, the future stars definitely hits a different level. But it's still probably not quite as close to Tevez as I'd like personally he's finding himself again he's going for a back heel I don't know what Areola's trying there but it most definitely isn't working where where is he here I kind of want him in the I want him in and around the box but he doesn't seem to be playing there can we get the little pass off if we can there it is can we go near post power shot well, I mean, it's, it's a decent attempt. We could try it again. We could fake it this time, I suppose. Because well, that, that's the basic premise of everything. You, you don't want to be doing everything again. He's going to think we are going, obviously, for the Tevez run. And all you do there is, when he gets closer, come back to him. Look for him again. And again. There it is. Oh, nearly. You know the worst thing is that happens more times than you'd actually imagine like genuinely i think that happened yesterday twice what on earth is going on oh it's an easy ball look at him he's there he's gonna he's gonna fake his way around what on earth is the keeper doing genuinely he's diving ever is i'm done 
Well, surely not. 5-4. Oh, no, he's making subs. I was going to say, I don't know what the keeper's doing there. He's bought him out far too late. He needs to be moving him across. But to be honest, every like I've, I've done three goals there that I've come across with one fake. How do you not learn? Just ignore that one. But how do you learn not to just follow the ball rather than just going straight for the run? It's just never going to work. How on earth that was a goal, I don't know. Oh, nearly sets him up. So, we're going into the overall for him then. So, we're coming in at 4.3. 4.3, give or take. What's the sales history on him? 4.3, 4.2. So, yeah. What we're going to see is kind of... I wonder, do we have the line? Yeah, I was going to say, what's the max? The max was 7.1. I mean, it's it's a very good card, but not seven one. Did end? Let's. I wonder if I'll get. No, I'm not going to get all of the day. I was going to say. I wonder if anybody actually bought him for seven million. We got five million. It's what? Well, in fact, what's uh, that is sold for? Yeah. So we got five five. Oh, six three. I mean, it's. Is is there a seven? Where is this seven? There it is. 7.1. Like, that's absolute nuts. Like, he's a good card. A very, very good card. But he's already down to 4 million. There's... You just have to look at the strikers to think, is he 7 million? Like, yes, maybe if he gets the full upgrade, we might see a big price increase and then it drops down naturally. But 7 million is crazy pricing. What, we, Mbappe is 15. Fair enough. It's Mbappe. It's hard to kind of judge with the team of the years because they were so underpacked. It was unbelievable. Like Haaland isn't normally wouldn't be eleven point five, and I get that. Like R nine seven point seven. I would take R nine over Tevez hundred percent of the time. We then have Mbappe. We have Cruyff under seven mil. Pele under six. Then we go to Liao. Obviously an upgraded card, which is fair enough. Griezmann fair at four point eight. I mean, it's it's great, but he's injured as well, so he doesn't even get half of the upgrades. What else have we got? Mbappe, Eusebio's up there. Like this, this is the problem and something they need to figure out because I like the upgraded cards. I think the promo and and the actual aspect of in real life performances, to, uh, like UCL, uh, Europa League, then having the fantasy foot. The what was the other one? What else do we get? Uh, the FC Pro Live. I like that their upgrade ability is good. It's going in the better way. But the problem they've got is cards like this just go in for so much. Like like Griezmann, 4.8. He is not a 4.8 million striker. Take any version of Mbappe. Take Eusebio. Take Pele. He is not worth 4.8. Even at 94, he is still not worth that much. You can go buy a Ginola 5.5, five, an Henri, a Cruyff, a Hullet. There's, these cards are now getting way out of hand. And it's just like all of the fantasy heroes. Like, really, 6.6 .6 for a company. A million for future. I could understand, but even then, I don't think he's necessarily a million coins. Hopefully, he will drop down as we go. Two million for Marquisio. Valer's still not on the market because they upped his price from 150 to 380. I don't know how, but he's easily going to be a million or two million. Roy Costa's 85k. 400, 750, and then a massive 4.3. Very, very good card, but the upgrade as it stands is not necessarily crazy. What did he have? He had technical. Okay, that's fair enough. Then he went from relentless. So, I mean, I can kind of see the progression on the Playstyle Plus, but I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Like, really, I scored no Power Shot Plus goals there. I had no technical runs, really, without showing you. That's just a normal card then. So, if you're not using the Playstyle Pluses, for instance, a Rapid is always going to be useful. A Quick Step will always be useful because they go hand in hand with the game. When we look at, I believe, can you look from here? So it'd be like stuff like, so if we had something like a Power Header, if you are heading, that's part of your game mechanic. So that could work out really well. Finesse Shot, I think that one's always a useful one because I like to finesse around the keeper. Makes sense rather than going straight. A pinged pass, incisive pass, long ball, whipped pass. They're all part of your game management. Maybe not whip pass if you don't cross. First touch, uh, rapid's always going to be a big one. Then defending, I think you just naturally get them anyway. 
acrobatic not as much aerial big one travel if you use it quick step there and relentless i suppose is just that extra bit of going they're the ones that are used no matter how you play the game if you run you get something if you pass it you get something that is going to be the biggest thing when it comes to play style pluses when it comes to power shot technical you have to physically do them so if i don't do power shots that play style plus is rendered useless if I'm not going to change the way I play. Technical, for me, is useless. I don't use it. So them two are already basically nothing. I might as well go back to the Relentless. And technically, it has more use for my day-to-day -day game management. So that's where I think the Playstyle Pluses do fall down a little bit. And yes, Power Shot is a phenomenal Playstyle Plus. Don't get me wrong. I think that is well underused in myself as well. But as we saw, if I get the angle wrong... I might as well have just shot. So you have to really perfect it. And that's where I think the price has really kind of hit that peak. We've had an 88, a 90, and now a 91. Granted, this one can be upgraded, so that is a chance. More than likely, we see a 92 at a minimum. I don't know what Man City's fixture was the weekend. I think, what was it, 1 or 2 nil? They managed to... With 1 0. So they need 10 goals in their next three. So they've got Man U. I mean, they could get it there. They have Liverpool and they have Brighton. I, I could see them definitely getting the second win, but whether they get 10 goals in the next three matches, that's going to be very unlikely, I think. So that could be where the dip in price might have been. So it's like they were like five to six mil, and then it's like, okay, they've only scored one. We're dropping it down to four. And that's as quick as how a card that is massively priced up because of the upgrade can just absolutely fall. But we go with a Hunter on him, 98 pace, 98 shooting. He is going to be an incredible striker, like Company, like Ramirez and Tevez. They are the new additions that I think are going to be incredible by the end game cycle. So I cannot wait to see that. Let me know down below if you've managed to get him. I've seen him once this weekend and he was absolutely incredible.